Hey guys, welcome back to Music Greatness. My name is Eli, and today we're going to learn Girl from Ipanema. Here's how it sounds. All right, let's dive into the harmony. So we're in the key of D flat major. Our first chord is a D flat 6 9. In the left hand, we have D flat and A flat, and in the right hand, F, B flat, and E flat. Then we move to an E flat 7. In the left hand, we have E flat, and in the right hand, G and D flat. Then we move to E flat minor 9. In the left hand, E flat, and in the right hand, G flat, D flat, and F. And then we have finally an A flat 7. In the left hand, A flat, and in the right hand, G flat, and C. I will now play the main chords of the song while counting along so you can hear the harmonic rhythm. One, two, three. Okay, let's break it down. So here's the intro pattern. In the left hand, we have A flat for two beats each, each measure. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And in the right hand, we have this voicing based on fourths, F, B flat, and E flat also called a chordal voicing, or fourth-based voicing. And we're playing it with this rhythm. One, two, three, and four. With the left hand. Now, beginning our verse, we have the same voicing. Now we're just varying the rhythm. And the rhythm of the right hand is this. Again. And here the left hand is playing D flat for two beats, A flat for two beats, D flat for two beats, A flat for two beats. Together. Again, very slowly. Now in the next two bars, we do the exact same thing rhythmically. Now we're just changing the chord to E flat seven. So the right hand, G, and D flat. Left hand alternating between E flat and B flat for two beats, and then four beats of E flat. However, they're two beats each. So the left hand is one, two, three, four, one, two, Then 
Then we do the same thing rhythmically on E flat minor 9. Here we're playing G flat and D flat for two of the hits. Then on the third and fourth, we add the F on top. And we land on G flat and C. Now the left hand is playing B flat for two beats and E flat for two beats. And moving into the next measure, the right hand is staying on the G flat and C and playing this rhythm. Now here in this second measure of that pattern, the left hand is hanging on A flat, two beats each. One more time, nice and slow. Now the next couple bars, the rhythm changes slightly. We're still working here on this D flat six nine. But our rhythm is varied. Here's what it sounds like. So the right hand, for the first hit, we just have F and B flat. Then on the second one, we add the E flat. So it's... left hand is playing two hits of D flat for two beats each, then the same with A flat. So. Now the next two bars are the exact same almost except that the left hand, instead of two of D flat and two of A flat, is now alternating between two beats of D flat then A flat. So I'll play what we just learned going into this next part. So here we have the same rhythm. One, two, And on the and of four, as you can see, we land on E flat seven. And in the right hand, this manifests as G and D flat. And the left hand is going D flat, A flat, D flat, A flat. Now in this next bar, we land in the left hand on E flat. We play that for two beats. Then we play B flat for two beats, then E flat for two beats, and E flat for another two beats. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the right hand has the same rhythm as before, but on the G and D flat. So those are four bars. As you can see on the end of four in this bar, we land on the E flat minor nine, with the right hand being G flat and D flat. So I'll play those last two bars one more time. Now in the next bar, we start in the left hand on A flat, hold it for two beats, then we have E flat for two beats. And in the right hand, we play again the E flat minor nine with this rhythm. Two, three, and four, and. 
and on the and of four, we're now landing on A flat seven, G flat, and C. So from the last bar, that sounds like this. Then we have the same rhythmic theme on A flat seven. One, two, three, and four, and. And on the end of four, we're landing back on F and B flat, which outlines our D flat six chord. So I'll play the four bars that we just reviewed. Now from here, we repeat our pattern with the D flat six nine. So those last two bars one more time. Now real quick, I'll play for you that entire second part of the verse where the rhythm changes. Alright, thank you so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed learning this song. If you would like to access the entire course, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. See you in the next one.